I prefer like coming here, hammering nails, you know, cutting leather than doing something like, I guess a normal job would be like. I didn't start making boots. I started making customizing sneakers. And then my grandma was across the street from the shoe repair shop. And she told me to come here because I was looking for materials and needles and threads. And there was like two other people and they were making shoes, boots, polishing. And I saw my teacher. I never seen this world before until that moment. And then I asked him, would he teach me how to make boots? And he said, sure, why not? He said, a boot maker doesn't do one thing. That's like, a, like in a factory. In a factory, one person cuts, one person sews, one person does this and that. And he told me, you know, you're going to be a boot maker. A boot maker cuts and does everything. Even the troubleshooting a machine, that's what, what makes a boot maker, a person who can fix a machine and keep going. A person who can cut, do everything, the whole line. And then you'll be the best. I got all that and brought it together. Every day I'll just gradually build on and build on and he would teach me here and there. He never taught me straight up like, oh, this is how you make a boot. This day he'll be like lasting a boot and I'll be watching. And these other days he'll be like cutting leather or sharpening a knife. And then now it's five years later and I'm still pushing, you know. Before making engineer boots, I repaired many. So from there, I always had an idea of what my favorite engineer boot would look like and what would it have. And I would think about, oh, this is a cool vamp or this is a cool heel. You know, oh, look, three stitches. And I would put it all together in my head and I was like, I want to make my engineer boot. You know, it was just for me. I didn't think I could make a life making boots. And I'm happy there's people out there that appreciate craftsmanship like Row Club.